Welcome back. Um, let's see. Oh, my window's not staying on top. Now it is. So, um, oh, come back. Uh, last place we left off, um, I was taking a whole bunch of validate methods, and I, I in the process of moving them from one from uh, the implementer class to the main class, of course, uh, I had to change. Um, some syntax errors that came up and I wanted to expand it to include um, the capability of testing longs and integers which um, it, it's almost kind of a waste because it, it's never going to be longs and integers are never going to be anything outside of um, the length of the array and it's never going to be outside of the I don't know the numerical values but I have it there in just in case so anyway that's all set up and now I think we are ready to tackle multiplication um, and I you'll notice um, I have one more tab here um, these tabs are the project that we've been working on so far this is my own um, project um, and uh, in fact I think I'm going to replace that one with uh, the one we've been working on on this YouTube video because uh, it's looking a lot cleaner and better than that one and at least more universal with some of the methods and whatnot so but the the point is um, I do have multiplication working in um, what does that arrow do that I have multiplication working with the main class method so um, well with the green one so I'll be referring to it if I get lost so let's go ahead and get started and you're going to see it's a real big difference here is um, not going to be so much the um, the difference is really going to be how we use these um, arrays now because outside character array is going to be used very much differently so let's uh, start creating it and I'm going to stick it along with the calculate methods that I've been producing so private void calculate um, product all right and just like the others it's going to accept a string variable in fact uh, you'll see it to be almost exactly the same we can even copy that code and stick it there and the only difference here is that we're going to have another method called calculate product and it's going to be accepting you guessed it the four variables that we've been working with the most these right here so let's copy and paste all right so of course this is going to calculate product so let me replace that word um, sum here this word sum with product and uh, I, I will warn you against um, doing copy and paste because obviously it's gotten us in trouble in the past. Let's see. Oh, it needs to return something. It needs to return an int. All right. So for now, let's have it uh, return one, meaning that it's always going to return a positive value. At least that will satisfy. Um, it will make the program happy for a while. All right so what are we going to do well our structure of the program we're going to have oh hold on one second okay where were we uh, I just got back from uh, eating lunch my lunch just arrived all right we were working with uh, calculate product here all right so it's going to receive um, integer and outs not integer um, it's going to receive digit character array there and it's going to receive outside character array there. So, we're going to need the use of two other arrays. One's going to store the result and store it in um, the character array later. You'll see what I'm talking about. And the other is going to act, uh, outside character array is going to act as a counter because the idea here is to, um, how, however, what is multiplication? When we look at multiplication, 2 times 3, 
is the same thing as 2 plus 2 plus 2. They'll end up at the same thing. It'll equal 6. So what does this mean? This means all we have to do is make our multiplication method into an addition method. And we already have an addition method. So basically, what we're going to have is we're going to have something that's going to have um, a result array already initialized to 0, right? And when it sees 2 times 3, it's going to add 2 to it, store the result, then it's going to add 2 to the result and store the result again. I hope you see where I'm going with this. Take that, add 2 again until it reaches 6, and then it will know to cut off. So, what are we doing? We're going through a loop. A loop. And this counter, this is at 3 here. And the counter is at 2 here. And the counter is at 1 here. And the loop must end when the counter reaches 0, which is the outside character array. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to need a character array um, called result. And it needs to be initialized to 0. So this is a character array, character array uh, called result. It's going to be new character and remember we wanted to work with um, whatever uh, the maximum is so we need to initialize it to max digits alright and from there it's empty so we need to make it zero so we have a set character array to zero method here so this is a perfect place to use it so just stick result in there and now we have one um, set to zero. All right, and now let's uh, go ahead and make another method called. Let's see what what are we going to call it? We need one to subtract one each and every time it's for the counter. So we're going to have a method uh, an array called one. We're going to set it to one. We're going to set it to zero first. Then we're going to take array uh, this ar this array one and stick in the very most right part of the array which is the 79th position the character one and now we have two arrays to work with so now we can actually and before this well we'll get into that later remember we'll have, we're going to be concerned with the sign that it's going to return but let's do that last let's make sure this works so this is going to work assuming that the product that the multiplication um, is positive and only positive that's what we're going to work with first alright so we'll see that in a moment so we're going to go into a for loop and this for loop is going to run as long as this method as long as this array 1 is not zero. All right, so we're going to have a counter going on here. Let's see. No, what? We're going to have no, 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 no. Let me think. Okay. This is the array we're going to continually be subtracting from there. So when this uh, array is equal to zero, then uh, and we have an is zero method. So when this array is zero, it will return a true. And when it returns a true because it is zero, we need to stop the loop. So we need to put our not indicator there. And then we need to be um, continually um, decrementing this O variable. How much time do I have left? Darn it. I will see you in the next video.